right, Pisces. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit. And we're just going to jump right in here, Pisces, and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. <laughs> no, Pisces. Really, you of all people want to know who you're dealing with more than yourself? Oh, Pisces, this will be fun. All right, no. Come back tomorrow, Pisces, so you can get all the fucking tea on all whoever. Today is about you, Pisces. All right, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and north node. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings, like I said, please go and check out my husband's uh, tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you, Pisces. All right, Pisces, you're funny. You're like, give me more information on them. It's like, yeah, come back tomorrow. And I'll give you all the information you need, Pisces, okay? On who you're dealing with or whatever. Who's trying to fuck with you? I don't know, Pisces. Oh, well, when you, you know, starting out hot with the devil card of the Oracle in reverse too. So you're, you're hooked. You're going to stay here. It's fine. Let's see more. I make sense though, Pisces. No judgment, like I said. I heard it's addicting. <laughs> Something is, I don't know what. Okay. okay Pisces all right oh okay well, this is well this is beautiful and I'll tell you why we have trickery in reversed grief upright destiny in reversed passion upright completion upright so holy shit Pisces you're like you know what I've been in the most fuckery toxic bullshit of my life you're, you're grieving from it and it is giving you grief, but you're working with it. Why? Because it's caused you to realize you were never meant to be here, there, with them, this, that, whatever it is. Like it's, it's, a, it's fucked up and karmic. Like you'll only go through hell the more you're involved in whatever this is. Even you know. So that caused you to truly be passionate to just fucking end it once and for all and be done and live your life, which is really, really good for you, Pisces. So let's see more here. Pisces, let's see here. Okay, well, it's you're still in the I'm not gonna say you're stagnant. That's not the right word. It's more so you right now, you might need more confirmation. So you might like, for example, which no problem, you might like uh what's it called? You want to double triple confirm what the fuck of information you're getting, okay? Because you might go to like, let's just say you might go to me right now and then you might go to my husband, right? To get like two perspectives of like what's really going on. And that's totally fine. Um, because I see here that like you really are committed to something or someone or you really do believe in a spiritual, religious belief, faith, whatever it is. You could be healing, going to get guidance, information, going to others who are of guidance, wisdom, prayer, spirituality, whatever it is. Um, you could be going to counseling therapy, either or here, Okay. The rest of these cards are kind of like you are not sure which way to go. The one thing you do understand is you just got to be really neutral and you're not letting your emotions get to you or anger or nothing here. So that is beautiful here, Pisces, because life is lessons in karma. They're showing you what's really going on in life now. And you're actually like, wait a minute. What the fuck? Hold on. So it's like you might just be sitting there. You kind of feel OK, but you kind of don't. Because you're emotionally confused about who you're trying to connect to and then who you're not. And even you know you shouldn't be, right? And then you're realizing it's not giving you that true wish fulfillment that you were wanting or hoping or expecting. Okay? And then it's even making you realize at the end of the day here, you're kind of like still same thing. It's like you might be sad, but not like depressed. You might be really mad, but not so angry. Like you might, you're sitting with it all emotionally. Okay? 
you're you're yeah there's something here you're just like uh, okay you're like let me be neutral and just figure this out or feel it out or see what happens here all right Oh, Pisces, you're, I mean, Pisces, I thought I told you get out of the, mm. I don't know why you're pissed off at him, but I mean, like, I guess, I mean, it makes sense, if you're in a marriage or relationship, you're really pissed off at your person, I mean, like, fucking livid, the rest of you, I mean, Pisces, go ahead and I guess attack people who are truly of faith and spirituality and divinity and religion. And I guess fuck around and find out. Like, because you are so pissed off at someone, like a, a different married man, married woman. Like someone who's truly divine and committed to what they are about. That's probably not fucking smart. Like, they're trying to help you, Pisces. The last thing you want to do is go and attack them. And also, how is that going to happen, by the way? Like, how does that even work? Are you just gonna be like, fuck you, bitch, da, 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 and like, and then what's gonna happen? Like, are they gonna, you know what I mean? Like, really stop and think before you do that. And I think that's why the rest of these cards are like, oh, fuck. So it's like, okay, that was the trickery, the devil reverse card here. Because you're going through shit. You know you're not meant to be here. I'm probably talking to Mrs. Pisces gang, Pisces nation all over again. It's fine. It's like I already told you yesterday about all your stupid little ghetto ass clan that you got going on and your weird shit over there. I told you you shouldn't have come back to tarot land, but here you are and it's fine. I told you don't fucking bring me into it and don't bring my husband into it either. And now you want to attack the both of us. So it's like, well, that's cool, Pisces. I'm trying to fucking help you. You're mad it's true. I tried to warn you. So it's, it's nice that you act right towards the rest of this reading because that would suck if the rest of it's just you being really bitchy and pissy. And Pisces, I'm talking to one Pisces right now, not all of you, of course. So, I mean, I'm hoping you're just really confused and you're going to go run to another person of, you know, spiritual stuff or psychics or whatever. I hope it's that. I really fucking hope it's you just being like, no fucking way. Hold on. Let me get double, triple confirmation. I pray. I pray that it's that because you already know how your life happened. You know how you get fucked with easily. Imagine how worse it is when you just want to fuck with other people who actually love what they do. You will never succeed in life, Pisces. Like, do you still live with your parents? Like, let's be real here. You already had it all and then you ruined it. Like, let's not go there. That's for one of you, not all of you. But the rest of you, honestly, same thing. Are you guys all pissed off at people who are of faith? I don't know what the fuck to tell you guys. The rest of you, it could be your own commitments and spiritual stuff. You could be mad that you, maybe you're pissed off you have to do tarot or divination or uh, uh, astrology and you're not real, you're not about it, you hate it, and you're just fucking mad you have to do it. I don't know, but I kind of get the sense it's the combination of what I said to all of you here. So, Okay, Pisces, let's just keep going here trying to be helpful well yeah i'd be scared shitless too you bound yourself and trapped yourself that's why you don't know how to feel and you don't know how to feel about a man or a woman or a person here people okay well there you are dancing around you know showing your skin and body do what you want you know some of you females out there but even you are not feeling it. Like, you're kind of like, oh, fuck. Well, I have to still act like everything's fine and cool and like confident. But really, you are so emotionally split in half. You don't know who you are yet or what the fuck you want or who you want. And I think there's another feminine that's making you realize what the fuck's actually happening with you in your life. Whether you like it or not. I Yeah, and that's the thing. You already are successful, Pisces. Like... You have your fucking recognition and success. Like, you're already, you know what I mean? So, like, but you're saying it's not enough. You're not fulfilled enough. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't. Because it's like, I don't even have that mindset. I don't wake up every day going, okay, how am I going to get likes and shares? And how can I be the biggest, baddest terror reader on the fucking planet? That's impossible. And that's so exhausting. You'll always be fighting everyone else and yourself. Like... I don't even grow subscribers. It just sits there. I don't give a fuck. 
Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm here of service. I only show up because spirit says thou. I know you hate people and you hate everyone, but you need to be of service. And I'm like, okay, spirit, you blessed me enough. I'm doing this for you and for people who do want help. You know? Yeah, I know you're going to get pissy hissy towards, you know, towards me. It's fine, Pisces. I'm trying to help you. Like, I'm trying to help you, girl. Like, don't go ahead. Get yourself in your messes if you want. But, like, I'm really trying to help you out here. Like, I don't know why you keep coming over here taking it personal. Then you go to my husband all pissed off wanting to attack him next. It's like, well, I mean, if that's how you want to play your fucking game, well, then R.I. Peace. Eat your last meal. And I hope you had fun. Exactly. As I saw an orb. It's like, I hope you had fun, Pisces. Like, damn, you just got back and now you want to start shit again. It's like, I told you I wasn't going to do this. I'm not going to fight with you. Like, what are you doing? I don't have time. I'm here to help you and help the rest of you collectively. But clearly you want to be hoity-toity and ego and a big ass head of yours. It's like, and no wonder you're the one crying at home. You're the one freaking out, being paranoid. Like, it's you at 1111. Like, you're the one freaking the fuck out. Thank you, Phoebe. It's like, what do you want, Pisces? Pisces gang, Pisces nation, like, what do you want? Go back to your little Pisces channel. You were doing fine. Like, either come here, it's fine, and go to my husband, it's fine. But, like, don't get pissed off at what comes out in the tarot. Do you still not know how to read? Or are you copying fucking AstroTurf, bitch ass? Like, you think she knows how to read? She's scripted. You didn't know that? There's your answer. Damn. I don't know what to tell you here, but the rest of you, you might be single and just be like, fuck it, I'm going to be a hoe. Well, whatever, live your life. The rest of you might not do anything. That's what I have for you all. Okay, we got, in case you're dealing with these signs, <laughs> which you are, uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, more Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, lots of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, that's what I got for you. And to the Pisces who is married and has a baby, I wouldn't be a hoe if I were you because Taurus, Mr. Leo, is here listening. Yeah. Bye.